Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today we'll be checking out a game called Puzzle Box Maker. This is on the Nintendo eShop and it did come out a while ago. I had never heard of it and I just kind of stumbled across it. And once I did, I thought, man, I bet you guys would like this if you haven't heard of it. So let's check it out. If you haven't seen this yet, it's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quickly the kind of stuff you can do with this game when you create your own levels. So here's a couple levels I've made. One is Bowser Jr. and one is Super Mario. Basically, you can take any sprite that you like that'll fit within the constraints of the game and make your own level based on your favorite characters. Let's open up the Bowser Jr. one. We have a few different modes we can play, Bomb, QB, and Copycat. Let's do Copycat first. This is the easiest mode. This is more about racing than an actual puzzle. So the four colors at the top represent the buttons of your Switch controller. X would be black, A would be white, B would be green, and Y would be orange. So on this very first row here, there's a bunch of blank spaces. You can use any color to knock those out. Once they do, the next color we need is black. As you can see at the top, it flashes what color you need next. However, if you're quick, you can hit it four times. And then you can move to the next row and go again. The idea is you get more combos, get more points, and try to get high scores. You upload your levels and people can play against each other trying to get the best score, trying to do this as fast as possible. All right, so I'm gonna quickly speed up the video and show you me filling in this level I created. Alright, so I was very sloppy on that. I was kind of fumbling my way through. So you can imagine if you're trying to do this as fast as possible, it's not easy, even though all you're doing is basically painting in pixels. So that's just one mode and it is really fun to race each other. But let's go back and try one of the other game modes so you can see all the different types of variety in the game you can do. So for this one, we'll start up the uh, Mario one and let's try the ball. Well, let's try the QB mode. Alright, so there's our pixel art there. So we'll go inside of that in a moment. So we have this little guy here. I think his name's QB. And then up here we have Pixo the puppy. Protect and feed Pixel the puppy. Now, I don't understand exactly what the point of feeding him is. Uh, I'm still pretty new to the game and I don't really understand this mode fully, but I know if we collect all these Pixel flies, I believe we can end the level. So once he eats the food, some more of these little bomb type things come out and we can use those to defeat the enemies. However, we're just gonna attempt to carry around, there we go, carry around Pixo with us. These are the little things we need to collect, these little flying, uh, weird looking things. I'm not sure what these bigger collectibles are for. And as you can see here, there's platforms inside of our Mario's uh, pixel art that we've made. And this is auto-generated, so I don't know what makes them decide where the platforms will go. But from my experience so far, it always looks really cool, and uh, there's always enough to get to the top pretty easily. Alright, we got more of these little gems here. I'm sure they do something, so we'll collect them. We got a bunch of these over here. I just saw more of those gems up here. Let's see if we can get this guy way over here. There's one... Two... Damn, I'm losing my momentum now, so I can't couldn't get high enough to get this guy. We got 13. Maybe someone that knows this game a bit better can explain more what's going on in the comments. We'll get more of these collectibles. There's emojis and stuff. Maybe they're all emojis, I don't know. We'll just keep collecting them. Just need to make some pixel art and then it become a level that you play in. And how we're playing this now, we could have played the mode before where we fill in the colors and you race against each other. So all the modes are available when you create these. All right, let's go try to finish up the level and collect the rest of the pixel flies. I'm not sure if we need them all to finish the level, but I'm pretty sure we do. Um, whoa, that was high. There we go. All right, so we only need five more. I really like the graphic style of this game, though. Like, the backgrounds are even pixelated, but in, like, a really sharp HD kind of way. It looks really nice. 
All right, we got all the pixel flies we need to finish the level. And once it gets over here, collect all pixel flies for the Lily coins. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. We gotta hurry up, that guy's getting very close. Once we collect all those, there's the exit, and we finish the level. And I believe the code at the top is the online code if people want to check out your level. And finally, let's just stick with Mario, and we'll check out ball mode. I do not understand this mode yet, but I'll show it to you. Now on this mode, there's definitely motion controls, even if you're using the Pro Controller, and it, you can kind of spin this guy around. Um, L and R makes it jump. And then the A button makes it blow up. And I think we want to collect all of the coins. See at the top left, there's four of ten coins. Now we have seven of them. And it's also blowing up our pixel art. So I got the controller tilted quite a bit. We want it to go over. That was pretty close. We got two more, three more coins. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really blowing up our pixel art. So we can bounce it around, making it jump. Hope that it kind of lands where we want. Still only 7 out of 10 coins. We got 8 out of 10. Which is weird, because I only see one coin left, so... 9 out of 10. Oh, I see the last one, maybe? We're blowing the heck out of our pixel art. <laughs> yeah, we did it, I guess. We only got 9 out of 10 of the coins. All right, and before we jump into create mode real quick, I'll show you that there is actually a whole other mode that you can play. So this mode's quite a bit different. In this one, we're just running away from this little spinny object so it doesn't kill us. And there is a, a template in create mode for a level that's uh, longer in length, but shorter in height like this. So I'm thinking that you might be able to make levels like this as well. So I guess in this mode, all we really want to do is collect as much stuff as we can. The coins are probably the most important, and that's what I'm missing mostly. I've only played this mode one other time, so definitely a little rough at this. Now that I noticed that the coins are more important, we'll try to collect those. Those coins we can't even get. We got a gem. There's a coin we can get. Maybe there's bonus coins? Okay, one... Certain gaps it looks like we'll automatically hop over. There we go. Jump down. We got 10 coins and we're at the finish. Maybe at the end we just... Oh, yep. Okay. There we go. <laughs> My first level. 10 out of 10. So that's yet another game mode you can do. All right. Now that we have everything out of the way, I want to show you create mode. I'll show you how easy it is to create your own level. All right, so we are going to use this Frog Mario sprite. All right, so we're definitely going to need green, but I think we'll go with the darker color green. Let's put it on our X button. Uh, the next color we see a lot is black. Let's put that on our B button. And then peach would be the next color we see quite a bit. So we can do pink or we can do this color. Let's go with that. It's kind of a yellowish, peachish color. And then we want white as well. So now we have green, black, kind of a peachish color and white. That's what we want. And we want to start this kind of near the middle so it doesn't look odd. This is close enough. And then we'll start creating our pixel art. All you have to really do is count squares and match up with the pixel art that you have pulled up. There we go. I don't think I messed it up any, so it looks like we've got Frog Mario. Now we'll go ahead and test it out. There's our Frog Mario. And let's go ahead and do copycat mode. And this one should be a little quicker than Bowser Jr. Let's go ahead and do it real quick. And once again, I'll speed up the video and let you guys see it in action. There we go, we got it. 
All right, so I think we should make one more, but let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some more puzzle box maker videos. Uh, maybe if you guys would want to submit some levels in the comments so I could check out some of the things you've made, that could be really cool as well. But just for fun, because I'm having such a good time with this, let's make one more pixel art and try it out. All right, so we're going to do this Mega Man sprite. There is a little bit of a trick to Mega Man as he has five colors. So we're either going to not do the white around his eyes or we will do blue eyes because we're going to use the two shades of blue, the black and the peach. All right, let's get to work. All right, so in the end, I felt like the light blue around the eyes looked better than nothing around the eyes, but it really does stink that we don't have the white to put around the eyes. All right, so there's our Mega Man that we created. So as you can see here, this is a really fun game. If you really like making sprites or pixel art, obviously you can make some of your favorite characters from your favorite games, but you can also make custom creations from scratch. Let me know what you think of Puzzle Box Maker in the comments below. And once again, let me know if you want to see some more of this game, maybe some other pixel art you'd like to see me make. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you around.